Hey, what's up? It's Paul from Guitar World. Alan from Guitar World 2. And we're here with Cooking with Sound. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Sound. I'm here with Alan, my partner in crime. Hello. What's up, Alan? Oh, yes. I'm really excited about this. Yes, and today, uh, here at Cooking with Sound, you know, we, we tried to serve you the very best in tone and gear. And, uh, and in today's uh, episode, and, and how low can you go? In this case, I think really low is safe yeah. to say. So today we have here from OpFX the Dig Deep. So, yeah, we're going to be digging deep. This is a subharmonic generator. I wonder... First of all, what is a subharmonic generator and why would a guitar player want that? Yeah, so I'm glad you asked. It's sort of, it's a more or less an octaver pedal, but this one really, really, really generates a deep octave. It's so low, I, I think that it, we're, we're worried that you may not even hear it sometimes because it gets, it gets down low, but it's, a, it's definitely there and it's, a, it's very cool sounding. So it's a very simple pedal. Uh, you know, a nine volts, two controls, one for clean and depth. Of course, the depth tells you how pronounced the, the bass end of it is. Mm. And then, of course, the clean blends your clean signal along with the, the oct octave effect. And totally counterclockwise, uh, from what I can tell, just pretty much bypasses the, your instrument. Okay. So for those of us who want to add that... that bottom layer um you know it's it really it, it's pretty pretty cool um let's take a listen right yeah i'd love to let's hear get it. right to it right so so this is my sort of clean okay. um i'm using the rhythm pickup here okay. um and i'm going to turn on the sub harmonic the dig deep and let's take a listen to it we're going to play with the controls so let's let's lay it down flat okay uh so we can really get at it. So, right now, um, let's put it about midway and uh, the depth about here. Here we go. strings right you can really comes out yeah and noticeably not on the high strings yeah. as I turn down the clean it starts to get there let's see here we go start to really diminish the guitar signal. Not wow. even sure you can hear that. So this is where the point where we actually tried this with the bass and it started knocking stuff off our shelves because it was so low, right? I mean, you really it really gets really gets low, almost indiscernible. It's at that that really what would you say? It's like eight oh eight bass drum low. Man. Booty shaking low. I like that. So now that's just with the clean. I would like to hear that with the like. Say if we turn on a little bit of gain, like which I think most guitar players would be using. Yeah. Let's pull this back. Let's try that. So give me a little bit of dirty channel. Dirty channel. We're using a Black Star um, HD twenty studio. There we go. Pretty 
Rock and roll tone. And here we go. Yeah, so there it is. It's like it's nice. It's it's kind of like a little bit it has a little subtle um, bottom end, which really adds to your guitar sound. <laughs> And then I say, let's pull it even more, get a little, a little more low. So it starts to really pull the volume down a bit. And it's very, uh, I would say, touch sensitive. Ah. This could be a secret weapon. I think so. You know, it's funny. I, I, I went to go see a friend of mine who is an acoustic guitar player, and he does this sort of like a, you know, he does, um, you know, those coffee house type of gigs. And I noticed on his pedal board he had an octaver on it. I was like, why are you using an octaver? He goes, because it gives me the bass end when I'm using it with a cajon player. Mm. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So it's like if you're strumming along. Kind of get that, kind of get like the bass note with it, so it actually drives the cajon as well. So it's nice, you get yeah. your top end and your bottom end all in one shot. So that's a very, very cool way of uh, using something like this, you know. And you know, it's different than other octave pedals where some of them are more prominent, maybe more mid-rangey, like you really hear the octave. This, yeah. you almost feel it rather than have it um, blatant. Yeah, I'd say this really gets down low. Let's see, I'm gonna hand it over to you, see what you can cook up with this. really responds to like it's really yeah it's really touch sensitive i find that you know it's interesting it like i find this depth it kind of really kicks in somewhere between about one o'clock here and then all the way up like try that let me hear what that sounds like <laughs> subtle but it would be great like you said if you're an just a single uh, guitar player playing a solo act and you want to add some low end yeah because you know it's, it's so uh, sneaky it just kind of like comes in and fills out that frequency range yeah. and it tracks really well too it, yeah it, it's not uh, glitchy or missing yeah. notes or anything I start to see let's see what happens when I, when I pull the clean and you start getting more of that Bass, and it's then it starts to really generate that low octave right here. There you go. Yeah, you're getting stuff that you can't yeah. usually get out of a guitar. That's cool. Yeah. And I said, we, like I said, we wanted to try and show it on bass, but I'm not even sure it would come through, but it, it's, it's low. I think it would probably for recording, you'd really want to 
add something like this to the mix. So, but yeah, there you have it. This is the op effects, dig deep, subharmonic generator. I'd definitely say I would check this one out. I would check this out, especially if you're a little bored with the usual range of the instrument. This will open up a whole new range. Hmm. Well, that's it. I would say, Alan, let's take us out, see what we can come up with. Nice. It got me in a funky mood. Yeah, it's pretty cool.